Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my Uppa Baby Vista stroller. I have the V2, so that's the newest edition that they have out as the time I'm making this video. And I also use my Mesa car seat with my stroller. I wanna focus on the different parts that you can purchase for your Vista and also the configurations that you can use with the Vista. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give you a little review, the things I like and the things that I do not like about the stroller. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned for today's video. I think I might honestly have every part other than the little step that you can attach to the back and kids can like ride on it. Other than that, I think I have everything else you can buy for this Vista because I have used it with one kid and now I am using it with two. And I use this a lot. You can see when you look at my Vista, it is well loved. So let's talk about the things you can buy for your Vista. Starting out first with the actual stroller base. So this stroller has two smaller wheels in the front and then two larger wheels in the back. The front two wheels can lock, so that means they will stay straight, like maybe you're pushing it out in sand and you want the wheels to like stay straight and not like bump all over the place. Or you can have it so they can just turn easy or they can stay straight if you just press the little buttons on the top. Right here, you can see that there's little springs, so like little shock absorbers. So when you're going down a bumpy path, it does not feel as shaky for your kids. This is great. It makes a huge difference. And then right here is the handle, and it's a telescoping handle, so you can put it into different positions depending on how tall you are, or even how much space you need depending on how many kids you have in your stroller. Now, when you buy your stroller base, you're more than likely going to purchase it in some type of set. So the set should come with the Vista seat. So this is a Vista seat. It has different straps that move up and down right here to give you more space depending on how big your child is. It comes with a bar and this bar comes on and off on both sides. So you can attach toys to this or take it off if you don't want it. And then it has this little foot piece right here and you can adjust this foot piece depending on how your kid might want it. Just an adjustments like that and then it also has the sun shade right here and in the vista v2s it opens like this with a zipper and then it can come down like this now let me place this on the stroller and you can see how it works so if you're using this as a single stroller your seat can be in this position right here facing you and it can, it can move down like this if your baby is sleeping. And then if you would like your baby to look outwards, then you can turn it. Like this. And then the same thing, the stroller seat can move down like this. So you can switch it into any of these positions that you might want. And don't forget that these leg pieces can move like this too if you have a little kid who wants to press their feet up against this. Another piece that you might get with your set might be the bassinet. So the bassinet has this enclosed part right here. So if it's cold, so if it's cold, this can help keep them a little bit warmer, but it opens up and it also is removable. Then you have this sunshade right here that stays in it permanently and you can pull it out to block the sun. It even has a way that it can like tie up right here if you want to tie it up. But I personally just stick it back like this and I think it works good like that whenever I'm not using it. And then this whole part right here can go 
down and then at that point if you have it down you might want to use this part right here to like tie it up so it's not hanging in your baby's face and then this is the inside of the bassinet it's pretty large i've used this as a traveling bassinet when we've gone out on vacation or while we've been moving and it's been really nice because you can just put it like this if you need to on the floor or something or you can put it in your stroller just like next to your bed at a hotel or something it's been really nice but it's a good size bassinet and it folds flat so you can um, take out these pieces inside this bar right here if you pull it towards the center there's two it collapses let me just show you guys so bar right here you pull it and you pull the other bar so they're going to kind of kind of crisscross here and then you just push it together and then I mean pretty flat so for a traveling bassinet it works pretty well and then to put it back together you just push the things back if you live somewhere hot like me then you'll probably like this feature on the bottom there's a little patch right here that you can pull up and it velcros to the back right here And this is a mesh pocket to give your baby airflow. So it can help with airflow into the bassinet, which is really great if you are also using it for a sleeping place. So let's remove the Vista seat and I'll show you guys what the bassinet looks like on the stroller. So I'll show you guys what it looks like on the other side. So if you wanted to, it can go this way too. I don't know why you would, but if you wanted it to, it can. When I purchased my stroller, I also got the car seat with it. So I got the full set. I know sometimes people buy the stroller and then they use different car seats with it. And there are attachments you can buy for your stroller to make that work just fine. I don't have that. I actually use the Mesa car seat. I love this car seat. I don't have a problem with it. I've now used it with two kids. I'll show you guys really fast. It's set up for my son who is uh, four months old, so there's no infant inserts or anything like that in here, but it does come with it. So this is the car seat. I don't think I've stated this, but this is the Jordan color. So this gray it's all Jordan. I bought everything together because I wanted to make sure that it all matched. So this is the Mesa car seat. And if you buy the Mesa car seat, then it easily attaches to your stroller. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So it can go this way and then you can also flip it around and put the car seat in that way if you wanted it that way as well. This is probably how I use the stroller with my first most of the time because it's so easy to be able to grab your car seat out of the car, out of its base, and just pop it right onto the stroller and run into the grocery store or go to an appointment. This is kind of my go-to setup when I had one, but when he got older and wasn't in this seat or if we were going out to do things then I would use the Vista seat. Now that's kind of the configurations when you're just using it for one child. Now let's say you want to use it for two. Maybe you have twins or maybe you're like me you bought your stroller for your first baby and you want to use it now with both of your kids. Now let me show you what I've purchased to make that work for me. I'm going to start with showing you guys the adapters. Now this is the upper adapters. You need to place these on the top part of your stroller to be able to lift the car seat up higher so that you can fit a, another 
car seat, Vista seat, rumple seat, something like that below it. And then these are the lower uh, adapters. So they are different. You do have to buy upper and lower if you want to place any of the original Vista stuff that I've shown right now on the lower, you will need these. And then if you want to be able to make it a double stroller, you essentially need these to lift it up higher to get both things to fit. Let me show you how it looks. I will start by attaching the upper adapters so you can see the difference in where the car seat is. So this is how the Mesa car seat sits in the Vista stroller without the adapters. And then let me add the adapters and show you what it looks like. So it just snaps on just like that. And then put your car seat back right here. So it goes on just like that and you can see how it's sitting higher. With these adapters up here, you can stick the Vista seat back on. So this is a Vista seat on the upper adapters. So that's how that looks with upper adapters. And then press these little buttons right here, comes off. And then this is a bassinet, works the same way just like that with the upper adapters. So that's how the upper adapters work. So if you want the baby car seat, the Mesa, or the bassinet to go on the bottom, you have to attach the lower adapters. So let's attach those, and then I will show you how they look. So this is how you attach the lower adapters. I'm gonna start on this side so it'll be easier for you guys to see, but you just, unclip this little button right here that holds up the basket and then this little dip right here is going to snap it in right here and then this part is going to go around the actual bar so it takes a little bit to kind of like figure it out once you get it it makes sense that you want to slide on like this Slide on. And it's a super snug fit, so you really have to push it on there. And then this clip goes up here around that part. And then you just snap it snug like that. And then you can put that button right back. And then the same thing on the other side. This part will be a little bit harder for you to see, but same thing. Just like that, they're both attached. Now let's put the seats on. So the Vista seat does not fit on the lower adapters. I believe they do that for the weight. They don't want you to have a lot of weight in the front of the stroller. So because of that, I'm going to stick the Vista seat up here so you guys can see how it looks. And then I will put the infant Mesa seat down here in the bassinet and show you guys how that looks. So this is the Vista seat. I placed that on the upper adapters. Now let me grab the Mesa car seat and stick it right here on the lower adapters. So that's how that would look. Now, if you didn't want to have the Mesa seat here, you can just remove the seat and switch it out for the bassinet. So this is how the bassinet would look. just like this and then remember you can always put this part down if you want them to have like more sunlight and you also can adjust the seat as well a lot of people i've talked to about this stroller will say to me i don't like the idea of my older kid being up here and then my younger kid being down below but they'd rather have their baby closer to them and i totally get that and I get that it can be a little bit frustrating that this seat only fits up here, but that is also why Up A Baby has the rumble seat. So if you want to go out and purchase another item 
for your Vista set, then you can get the rumble seat. So this is what the rumble seat looks like. It does not have the adjustable feet like the Vista seat, but it does also come with a bar and it has the adjustable straps right here. The same type of sunshade. And if you unzip it, it gets larger, it has the same vent. There's also a vent right here. I am gonna do another video going super detailed about each of these particular items. So if you wanna see those, then subscribe to my channel because those will be coming out very soon. So this is the rumble seat. And as you can see down here, these attachments look a little bit different. So when you purchase your rumble seat, it will also come with these rumble seat attachments. They look very similar to the lower attachments, but they have this little yellow mark on them. They get put on exactly the same. So let me show you guys how you install them and then I'll show you what it looks like with the rumble seat. All right, now let me show you guys how you attach the rumble seat adapters. We're gonna start on this side since it's easier for you guys to see. So you same thing with the other adapter. You're gonna undo this little snap right here to make it easier. And then it has a little divot on it as well. You just push it on like that, flip this around, and then snap it snug. Same thing on the other side. Now let's attach the rumble seat. So the rumble seat can face outwards like this, or if you'd rather it face into the stroller, then you just press these little buttons right here and you can turn it around and it can face inwards like this and this seat has the same rotating feature as a vista seat so you can angle it down like this if you want it like this and you can adjust it any way you like so baby can be comfortable whatever position it wants to be in it works the same way if you go this way. Like this. And that works with the Vista seat up here. You can still bring it back more if you want your child to lay back more reclined, like when they're taking a nap. Now, if you want to have a different seat up here, super easy. You already have the upper attachments attached. So you can remove the Vista seat and then you can attach the car seat. Just like this. So you can have the rumble seat down below and then the Mesa car seat right here or your car seat if you buy a different brand and you purchase the separate attachments for it. So if you don't want your Mesa car seat but you would like your bassinet on the upper adapters instead, the rumble seat will have to be turned the other way. So let me show you guys. You'll have to remove this seat and it will have to be this way, like this. And then you can place your bassinet up here, just like that. And now you can have your bassinet and then your rumble seat down there. Now, personally, this is not my favorite setup for my kids. Um, whenever I use the bassinet in this, it's usually for just like walks around the neighborhood and then my toddler is walking. And then whenever I am out grocery shopping, I usually have my Mesa seat here attached up where the bassinet is right now. I use it to get my groceries. I will show you how I use that setup. So this setup right here is definitely my go-to grocery shopping setup. I can leave my infant in his car seat. My toddler can hang out down there. It's easy for him to get in and out if he wants to like walk, hold my hand or he wants to sit in there. I can walk around with the strap so he can't get out. And then it leaves my whole basket right here open and I can put all my groceries, anything I want in there when I'm shopping. This is my 
go to set up for that. Now, if we are doing like the parks, Disney, Universal, we're going to go out and go sightseeing and we want both the kids to be comfy in the stroller, but they maybe can get out if we want to feed them or something like that, then I use. This is great because I can have my oldest one down there and my youngest one up here reclined because he's only four months old, but because of the straps, he can be snug in there. You also can get an infant attachment if you have a small infant you want to place in your Vista seat. The nice part about this setup is it's easy to switch from one kid to the other in either one of the seats. If you have all your weight in the very front of your stroller, it will be hard to push unless you're on just like regular sidewalks. That's why they limit how much weight can go in that rumble seat because if you have a lot of weight up there and a very big kid up there, it could flip your stroller over. You wouldn't want that to happen. So as my kids get older, I do plan to switch the stroller a little bit different to this once they're both a little bit older because if you have kids, then you know they like to look out and look at other things. There are so many different configurations that you can do with this Uppa Baby stroller. Now, hopefully this video has been helpful in you figuring out if one of those configurations will work for you. But before I leave this video, I wanna share with you guys my favorite things I like about the stroller and then a handful of things I don't like about this stroller. One thing I do like about the stroller is the fact that the seats come with the bars because those bars are really great for when you have younger infant kids because you can attach toys on them and they cannot lose those toys. They can slide them around, play with them. You can attach a pacifier on a clip to one of those things and they're not going to lose them but you also can purchase a little attachment like this where you can put their sippy cup which is a rubber thing so it helps the sippy cup stay in and then any kind of snacks and this snaps on right to your vista seats or the rumble seat and it's great for older kids so i like that it has both options another huge pro for me is the fact that you can recline and adjust the seats if you have ever been out with a kid who is needing a nap and they cannot fall asleep, it is so difficult. The fact that these seats can recline back and then you can pull the shade all the way over and then as you're just pushing, it's kind of lightly bouncing, it kind of rocks them to sleep, that is awesome. And then when they wake up, you can just push it back up compared to like a traditional stroller where you have to like tighten or loosen like a string or a strap or something to get to lay down or sit up and that will wake your kid up. We had a cheaper stroller that we would take to the parks with us because we were afraid of someone stealing this one and my son would not sleep in it. Another thing I love about this stroller is it really is you get what you pay for in the sense of quality. Now, it's great to push the stroller around. The shocks help absorb so much of the bumpiness if you're going down like a brick road. It makes a huge difference and the quality of the fabric is amazing. I've had this stroller for a while now. I throw it in the washer machine and it stays in great condition. It's super easy to keep clean and it beads water off. I live in Florida, there's a lot of rain and it beads water off. Now it's not gonna like, you know, completely protect against water, but if there's a little bit of rain, your kid does not get soaked. There's rain covers for it. I have those as well. There's just so much to share in this video. So I am going to do more videos to come about this Vista. Another thing I really like about the stroller is I can just use it as a single or a double, just attach my car seat. I don't have to have all of these things with me all the time. I can plan accordingly depending on what I need to get done, what I'm using it for. I don't have to have a car seat there and a actual kid seat at the same time if I don't need that. Now let's talk about some things that I dislike about the stroller. I have to say the fact that there's no pouch cup holder thing right here can be kind of annoying. I have one that I attach to that. It works great. And it's a uh, itsy ritzy, I think that's what this brand it is, that just attaches it. It works, it works great, it works fine. I kind of feel like Up and Baby could create something better there, but I do think it might affect the actual usage of the stroller. 
the only other con that I can say is the locking mechanism. So you press your foot down, it locks the stroller from the wheels being able to move, you press your foot down and it releases it. It does stick sometimes and I've heard that from other people who have up a baby vistas. I've heard some people have really bad issues and they're able to get them replaced. Mine hasn't been that bad. Sometimes it sticks, sometimes it is perfectly fine. So that's the only kind of cons that I really have and I swear I'm like digging for a con because honestly, I love this stroller and I have no problem recommending it to you and everybody else. And this is not a paid sponsor, okay? This is just me as a mom saying, I love the stroller, it has been great for our family. And if you think it'd be great for your family, maybe you think about purchasing it. All right, you guys, this has been a super long video, so I'm gonna leave it here. If you have any comments or questions about this stroller, please leave it in the comments. And I plan to make more videos, so hopefully I can answer those questions for you in the future. I am going to go one by one and show you guys how I can deconstruct to wash all of these things and how to put them all back together and give you guys an overview of every single part of this stroller. If that's something you're interested in, then hit subscribe and I'll see you in that video. Bye.